Happy New Year everyone, welcome back for another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about one important crucial key factor. I mean, if you have a good scanner, fast protocols, it doesn't matter if your patient cannot lie still or lying comfortable in the scanner. Thereby, this video is sponsored by Pearl Technology. Stick around, I will show you what kind of equipment they provide. For those who are new, my name is Back again. I'm gonna ride with Iofer. So in my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced. I'm writing topics, tutorials, just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. Pearl Technology is equipment we have used for many years. The patient is the most important key factor when it comes to good image quality. If they're not lying still, you won't be able to have good images, right? So let's go to their webpage and check it out. So this is that webpage pearltechnology.ch. So in here, you can choose the language, English or Deutsch. And in the products, this is what I want to show you. You have an equipment for CT and other modalities. But what we use is the multipad. We're using, at our, my hospital, we're using the multipad for different kind of purposes when it comes to examinations. You can use it for the head, cervical spine, the shoulder, as it says here, elbow, wrist, and so on and so on. As here you can see, it's been used for the knee exam. And you can see also here it works for the cervical spine, for the fixation of the patient. So it's very robust uh, equipment. So let's see, this is the products. So we have all the, these products because we bought back in the days the multi-pad research kits, which gave us uh, many different pads. You have multi-pad standards and there are, the good thing about this are uh, different sizes for different cases, different kind of patients, of course, and there is possible for uh, inflate. So you can choose how big you want them to be and deflate. So of course you can inflate to a certain amount, but there is much to go there. So you will have a lot of uh, working area using this kind of equipment. Nonetheless, let me show you what we do at the hospital. All right. So at the hospital, we're using this multi-pad, different kind of multi-pads for different kind of situations. So for example, this, this is just my daughter. I brought it with me to work just to position her. I'll show you what we usually do. So you can see there are multi-pads. This is the multi-pad slim on both sides. So it's actually very slim, but I did inflate here. So you can see it's getting bigger. So it fixate the headphones and fix it very well. And it's reusable, it's easy to clean, and it's not radiographer dependent. So every radiographer should be able to use this and you don't need to improvise for being able to, to get the same uh, results every time. It's very easy to use. Next thing, we know that when a patient is fixated on the side, so they won't move the side, but sometimes they will also move this way. By doing so, you also have the possibilities to have something in the forehead, inflate that, and you would not somehow have a good fixation on the side and on the forehead. So it's much better for the patients to lie still. And then for the shoulder imaging, you know, whenever you have a shoulder call, there is different kind of calls. This is, you know, from, from this equipment from Siemens, they have something which is small and large. So if you're using a small and the kid is still small, you can also have some room in between the coil. So you can use this multi-pad for inflate that and fixate the shoulder even better. So it's possible like that. So this is the hand wrist coil. So inside here, there could be some, some room for movement. So if you put the pad inside there, inflate that, and then you will fixate that. And you can see here is a double pad, right? I'm just using the one of them and the other one is just lying on the side. And here we can do it for hip imaging, especially for the kids when they are small and the coil, even though this is the Ultraflex 18 channel, it's a small coil, but we, what we really want is the coil to lying closest to the body. So even though you're using a strobe here, you can use a multipad here to make the coil come even closer to the sides, which is uh, important. There are different ways to use this uh, multipads. And for the foot ankle, we also use that. So here is very good. You have to fixate the area of the ankle right there and the toes, same time, just put it in and the front here and here, inflate to the patient says is good enough. And then, okay, we stop there and then we just continue. And then you will fixate the patient very well. Fast, easy, and efficient. Well, that's it guys. I hope you find this video informative. We've been using the equipments for many years and um, we have four scanners. All four scanners have those kind of equipment, so we don't want to run around and change the equipment. So it's always there, always ready to be used, flexible, efficient, easy to clean, all that. So before we close out, I do have a question for you. What kind of fixation do you use? Standard from the vendor or something 
you created by your own, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell so we get a ding ding whenever new videos from me are coming up. I will catch up with you in the next video. Peace out.